Welcome back to Let's Replay Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. We're in the Death God's Vault. We're right above this library. We're about to descend into it and search these stacks for anything. The scratching in the air. They are the spirits of the scribes, still penning Merkel's scriptures, even in death. Yeah, we can hear the scribing, but we can't see them. At least not yet. This gong is tarnished and ancient. Its surface is etched with a procession of robed scribes carrying the quills and books of their trade. Let's strike the gong. As the sound of the gong reverberates, several ghostly scribes materialize throughout the scriptorium. And now we can see some ghostly scribes writing in these immense books. Now we'll have a word with them later. This bookcase is completely bare. You can see faint outlines on the shelves where books once sat long ago. This one says, This bookcase looks nearly bare, as if anything of value was either sacked or hastily moved somewhere else. What few tomes remain are decayed and ruined. There's a scroll up here. And we get Greater Shadow Conjuration. Yes. And incredibly, you can cast this, even though you can't scribe it. You have need of me? Alright, let's look for some more scrolls. Here's another one. It's another scroll of Greater Shadow Conjuration. We'll keep this. So, Janik and Sophia will both have a copy. What about over here? Here's another scroll. This one is Harm. We'll give it to Kaylin. Here's a scroll in the corner. And we get Create Undead. Cool. Here's another scroll. We got Undeath to Death. This scroll is Circle of Death. A lot of necromancy scrolls. There might be another scroll over here. Yes, there's one way over here. And that one is Acid Fog. Alright, very well. This one is completely bare. This one is nearly bare. Go around and see if I missed a scroll somewhere. Doesn't look like it though. I think we got everything. Alright. So if we go up here and talk to any of these scribes, they just tell us, shh, they're busy. However, this one doesn't seem to be writing. The ghostly figure turns very slowly to look at you. As his eyes meet yours, you detect a flicker of puzzlement. A tale of deception is writ plain upon your soul, supplicant, and you are both the deceiver and the deceived. You will not find truth within these walls, but you will see the lies for what they are, and you will return to us, I think. I don't understand. Can you speak plainly? I cannot. My eyes are trained to read the words and discard the meanings. Thus, it has always been. I am Diomedes, chief scribe and supplicate before the Lord of Bones. All that passes through my Lord's gates is recorded within these tomes and ledgers. We record, my scribes and I, but we do not remember. Our scribblings are the mind and the memory of Merkel's vault. Merkel, the former god of the dead, he was slain and replaced by Kelimbor. Why do you still labor here? It is words that bind us to the vaults of our Lord. Our souls are graven upon its walls, our names writ upon its foundation stones. When one scribe replaced another, the name of the old scribe would be wiped clean and he would be free to pass beyond to the City of Judgment, to join with the Scriveners who came before. But a great betrayal was committed here, supplicate, and we stood by and watched. So taken were we with the traitor's resolve, with the dream that he spun for us in words and deeds. 
when that treachery was put to an end, we were held to account with all the rest. Ours was a simple retribution, an effortless thing. No more scribes were appointed, and our names were never wiped clean, and so here we remain. You're talking about the Betrayer's Crusade, aren't you? That is what we called our treachery, yes. A pretty mask to hide an ugly face. Who was this traitor? Akachi, high priest of the temple. He is called by some the betrayer, who led a great host against the city of judgment. For the love we bore him, we shut our eyes to his treachery, and for that reason we stand before you now. But you were mere bystanders. Your punishment hardly fits the crime. Ah, but you do not know the nature of the treachery. We have always held that our punishment was just and deserved, and we will speak no more of it. What is contained within this vault? All that is recorded in our ledgers you'll find in the chambers below. Ancient tomes, prisoners, and treasures of the faith. What ancient tomes are stored here? Every book of the faith was brought to this scriptorium and copied by my scribes, or those who preceded us. All were delivered into the archive below to be tended by our mummified remains after our souls ascended to the city of judgment. Nothing of us was wasted. Go below. Perhaps you will even find my corpse supplicant. Prisoners were housed in, these, in this vault. Many enemies were made to disappear, supplicant. Those who defied our Lord's faith, necromancers who practiced crafts forbidden by even by our church. And depraved, and the depraved, murderers and worse, delivered to our gates by the witches of Bolsatir. Such was the price of building this vault on their sovereign ground. We disposed of the worst of their race. All were imprisoned in the endless dark below, never to emerge until death took them, and their bodies were sent to the furnace. You say there is treasure below? Yes. Much was stolen by those who betrayed our faith and employed it in their battle against our God. But some, no doubt, remains. I'd like to talk about something else. Then speak, supplicant. We are bound by our fallen Lord to listen. How do I unlock the door to the lower level? Our high priest held the key. I do not know his fate. It is not recorded in our ledgers. I am seeking a scroll. The Lamentations of the Dead. Will I find it here? The ghost turns to his massive ledger and is silent for a time, his eyes narrowed, mouthing words to himself. Whatever language he is speaking seems somehow familiar, yet he cannot quite comprehend the words. Yes, the scroll is contained in the archives below. Farewell. And to you, supplicant. So that's all the information we need. Now in the last episode, we summoned a planetar and he created a blade barrier around himself and stupidly I had Janik walk right through it which gave him a bunch of damage and took away all of his damage reduction so we're going to have to be extra careful from here on out. At least until we can rest. We can't rest in here though. All right, let's open up this door. Let's see what we can find in here. Ah, I'm a five priest. Just one? Well, let's, cool by talking. Go let's do on death to death on him. Nah, he made his will save. Half-minded soil tiller, dreamless wretch. All right, you cast heal on him. So he tried to dispel magic on us. I wonder what, if anything, was dispelled. Looks like something was dispelled. What about you? Are you around any thing that can be destroyed that will spawn a dread wraith? Doesn't look like it. 
Okay, you cast that. Bleeding, corpse loving, inbred scum. You disintegrated. All right, let's just do melee damage. I shall do so. All right, Ken got the kill once again. Let's see how everybody is doing experience. Points. All who can hear, follow. Oh, you're real close. To me, my allies. Not I shall lead. Man, look at that level adjustment. That's huge. Come this way. You're real close as well. Yes. I suppose we can loot these skeletons. Ah, 6,021 gold pieces. We have a scroll of resurrection. We have to give this to Kaylin. We have like six dead bodies over here. 1,800 gold. Two potions of heal. 484 gold. A plus two dagger. I guess we'll sell that. 2352 gold pieces. Thieves tools, I guess we'll sell those. We still have some that we haven't sold yet. Yes? Alright, let's see if we can find any traps around here. Well, I don't see any. You have need of me? Alright. Let's continue the looting. Get a gem and some gold. We got another potion of heal. And over 1,800 gold pieces. I'm not going to loot these things because I don't want to trigger any rates right now. I can use them later. Once I get... The sounds you hear, they are born of ghosts. Do not let them distract you. Um, thank you. No, I'm going to get these rates as soon as I get hungry, so to speak. Many died in this place. Their spirits lie thick here, like smoke. Now, if we loot these skeletons, they'll spawn wraiths. Ah, we have some spirits. Let's cast this. Right there ought to do it. Let's center it on ourselves. To me, my allies. I shall lead. Let's do prayer. Hmm? Where are the undead at? Oh, there's only a couple of them. Do a moon bolt. Yes? And you can do... No. You can do a firebrand. Right there. Press the attack quickly. So how did the how did that you didn't even cast it? I swear to God. Every time I I click off of it, it won't cast it. Try it again, will you? Oh, why can't I use that? I don't... Am I knocked down? Can I use that item? What's going on here? All right, you do it then. Um, why can't we use this item? Oh, did it disappear? Oh, I guess it. Might have? I don't know. Oh, you rolled a one? Good job, buddy. 
ones are automatic failures. So that means we must have used Undead to death. So what happened then? It doesn't even say. It doesn't even say what happened. Great. I'm chalking that up to a bug. Do we have anything else that can help us out? Well, I guess we could, uh, we could summon something. How about a vampire? For the crusade. Surely you have something that will help that's... To heal Sophia. Danger approaches. Be on your guard. All right. Can you do anything? Uh, oh yeah, you got this bell. Are you surrounded? Uh, not really, but you can do some burst. There. On your guard, foes approach. Eh, they're almost dead. Firebrand. Right there. Tarenda. Ah, this one stands no chance. Let's do another one. Hey, Gan leveled up. So did Sophia. Nice. Oh, all those things got destroyed. Following Sophia. There we go. Nice. All right. We'll level you up. Oh yeah. By the way, I figured out what happened from two episodes ago. It turns out you only have. Two influence increases with Sophia. One at 50, and then the other's at 100. So I'm gonna get her up to 100 so we can get that plus two to intelligence. And then after that, then I'm not gonna care. I'm just gonna make whatever decision I'm gonna make it. She'll either like it or not. Okay, so we did Pale Master. And we want Arcane Scholar of Candle Keep. So that means we need skill focus, concentration, and spellcraft. Now, I think we took spellcraft. Because we already have a power spell. Okay, so I guess we'll just take another wizard level. Let's do concentration, craft alchemy. We'll skip these for right now. Maybe craft weapon. Spellcraft. 
I don't think we need any more lore. I don't think we need any more heal either. Okay, then we pick spells. So you have every level nine. You need mass charm monster. That's right. That's the one that we couldn't do. The power word, true scene, feeble mind. These are all. These are all divine spells. Not divine. Divination. Derp. And it's a shame that you can't buy these things. I mean, I can understand why you can't buy these ones, these power word ones, but... Like, Detect Undead, True Strike, See Invisibility, those should be, like, standard spells that you can buy. So I guess we'll just go down the list. Mass Charm Monster and Power Word Blind. Now we'll have every level 7, 8, 9 spell. Next. Alright, you're done. Alright, we'll level up Gan now. I guess we'll take another Spirit Shaman level. Doesn't really qualify for anything else. I don't think there's anything else I want to give him. So we'll give you Concentration. Spellcraft Spot Survival. Next. And you get a Feat. Hmm. What should we give you? I don't think you have a weapon focus or anything. What does it want to give you? Combat casting. Okay. Oh, we get three level nine spells. So I guess we'll do Elemental Swarm. That's a very good one. No, this is not good. Neither is that. That might be good. Burst of Glacial Wrath. I want a good attack spell. See, that's a summon spell. This would be a good buff spell, but Kaylin could just prepare this. Be kind of wasteful. The area around you is blasted by lightning and acidic rain. All enemies within the area of effect take 36 points of acid damage. Yeah, I guess we could do that one, sure. And then we get one level eight spell. We'll take premonition. And we get a level seven spell. Wow, get a lot of spells here. We could we could also swap one too if we want. Should we do firestorm. Or should we do a cure spell? Hmm. Well, we already have heal. That's kind of a good spell. Let me get rid of this one and pick that one. Then we'll do Firestorm instead. We got one level six spell. Wow, we get a lot of spells. Nice. we'll do Dispel Magic. And then that's it. Unless we want to swap something. Was there any good Druid spells that I used a lot? I can't remember. Maybe Arc of Lightning. Maybe we could get rid of Stone Skin. 
But there's really nothing I want to replace it with. Well, I don't know. Maybe Ice Storm. You get rid of one of these small summon creatures that are kind of useless. Yeah, maybe I'll pick Spider Skin. That's better. Okay. Continue. Well, I guess all that's left is yeah. on your guard. Foes approach. Wait, where are the enemies at? I thought we killed them. Let's just have Sophia pick way. up all these essences. It's really too bad about this. I do want to come see this now. Sooner rather than later. If I go up here, I'm gonna disturb some more of those spirits, so I don't really want to I do will that. lead now. Follow. But there's a priest over here I want to talk to. Be gone. There's little enough comfort to be had in this crowded furnace. I won't let you throw yourselves into the warmth and crowd it further. But I, I have no intention of throwing myself into the furnace. Why else would you come to Merkel's furnace? Go now and find some other warmth. What is it, priest? A supplicant come to join the many? Nothing to concern yourself with, child. Recede back into the warmth of the furnace. But do you sense it? Unlike others that have come, this one is compatible with the many. Let's let the spirits continue speaking. Not even think that. It cannot see you or hear you, and if it could, such a one could dominate the many and silence my voice. I would no longer be one. Do not fool yourself, priest. You are one only because I granted it to save you from the many's wrath. Do you wish me to wake the brute? How dare you! Do you forget, child, that before Syrix Usurpers cast me alive into the furnace, it was I who fed you, nurtured you, educated you? I've forgotten much, priest. That is one detail I can never forget. As you've recited it incessantly since you joined the many, and I regretfully made you one. You should be grateful that I kept the secret of your existence safe throughout the hours of torture I endured for being the high priest of a slain god. For if I had let that detail slip, you and the rest of the many would have been exercised from the comfort of the furnace and sent to the city of judgment to become mortar for the wall of the faithless. Priest, who is the child you were speaking to? Are you talking of imaginary beings? Or do you see something in this room besides the priest? I see only the spirit of the Merkelite priest, but I sense the presence of others. Did you hear what it said? It can see and hear me. The brute must witness this. I will go fetch him. No, not the brute. Not the brute. Someone call me? What's this? A living flesh receptacle? No, no, brute. Go back into the furnace. Yours is the last face I want to see, you mindless murderer. You be silent, priest. Or I'll leave here. Find more of your still living family to slay. Leave? You can never leave. And even if you could, my progenitors are already dead, thanks to you, monster. Do you forget when I hunted you down for slaying my wife? My son? And then when I had you tossed, swearing into the furnace? You, you be silent. And I spit on you while your flesh blistered and watched the spittle boil and evaporate on your forehead as 
Your final words went unheard over the roar of the inferno. Obviously, you two have a complicated past. Huh? Did the flesh receptacle speak at me? How can it see me? Yes, you low born son of a corpulent pig. The child called you to witness this. Some other one could see you and hear you, as I once did when I lived. Well, you impotent worshipper of a dead god, let us grab it and take it in the furnace so that it may join the many. No, I'm one and I forbid it. Eventually, this one will tire of being ignored and move on. Then let me speak to it myself. I want out of this blasted furnace, and this one may have the power to break us free. I will not let you speak to it. Now go back and I will deal with this. Eh, I was roused for nothing. It will take me some time to find a comfortable place among the cramped furnace. Do the many a favor and be silent until then. Oh yes, I will keep silent. The living have little patience for being ignored. If I do not speak to them anymore, they will leave. The priest spirit gazes at you imperiously and refuses to speak further. And there's no way that we can activate this furnace with him standing in the way. Okay. Oh, there's some more. Yes. I forgot to have you grab these. Oh, good. We can combine some of these. Alright, we got our first pristine power essence. You have need of me? Actually, if we look Come at this, this thing, way. It'll tell us what will happen if we put these things on. We're going to need a way higher caster level than this, though. If we put it on a ring, we get a bonus wizard spell slot. Nice. Yes. Oh, there's, an, there's another one. Yes. Grab that, will you? Oh, you lost your haste. That's what happened to Janik. He kept wondering. Alright, so we're going to leave all the skulls and stuff for now. i leave the skeletons be, even though they all have, like, a lot of gold on them. Close the door. Well, we're not going to be able to open this without a special key. We're not going to be able to get the special key without dealing with that priest. That priest is the last one who had the key. So we're going to have to come back here later. In the meantime, since we are in Shadow Molson tier, let's explore around a little bit. I do remember Kaylin mentioning something about seeing people and fires burning by the port area. Well, unfortunately, the port area is closed off. We're going to have to approach it from a different vector. Can we... Uh, oh, yeah, we can rest here. It's, this is dangerous, though. We're going to have to find a safer place. Let's go down this way. Undoubtedly, we'll find some more monsters milling about. I see one right now. There's a greater shadow. And a dread wraith. We have a fireball we can shoot at them. LMA Volkraini. Well, they made the reflex saves. That's kind of sucks. Should we cast on them? Let's put a Morning Canaan sword like right there. So can prepare Ali Chinishu. 
The call of death sounds for you. I shall do so. I didn't blind us. Fighting each other. Hmm? Danger approaches. Be on your guard. You know, that reminds me, we didn't talk to Kaylin, did we? No, we should probably have a conversation with her as soon as we uh, clear this area out. Here's an open home, but I don't want to go in yet. It's Shadow Spider. And this is where we can go down to the port. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's locked. So is this Shadow Theater door for some reason. Yes. Let's tell this thing to attack. Press the attack, quickly! Integrate that, will you? You, you are a. Uh, oh, I don't know any profanity. How embarrassing! Oh wow, I feel a lot of No, a specific key is required. Yes. Over here, we get some more essences. Oh, there's a shadow portal. We might make use of it, but we have some friends that we have to deal with. Gan and Kaylin are fighting again for some yes. reason. Essences do we have? A lot, huh? I will lead now. Follow. All right, let's this not head in here just yet. Small sector, yet everything seems muted somehow. I thought that was established already. Oh, another shadow spider. Right. It was a mistake. <laughs> Have you lead because you got wings. 
a dirt mound over here. And it's some type of scythe. And 4,600 gold. I cannot guess. Death's Handmaiden. Ooh, it has vampiric regeneration. To me, my allies, I shall lead. Plus four keen vampiric regeneration, plus three. What about this? Uh, it's a toss up, really. Let's put this, I guess, over there. You have need of me? All right, let's go back into the portal in this alley. This place is always in the shadow, so we'll always be able to get into Molson Tier over here. Yes, let's go into the portal. And then we're going to have to find another portal. Well, I guess I was wrong. This place, this portal isn't always open. Oh, look who it is. It's Susa and Ephraim. Well, before we talk to them, let's try to talk to Kaylin. Something you require? I have questions for you. Of course. Any suggestions for how to deal with Oku? My powers are well served in dealing with the aftermath of a battle, but it would be wise to seek the counsel of one of the shamans of Rashomon in dealing with his army. They know the spirits, the beast gods of this land, far better than I. If this conflict can be settled without violence, they would know. More questions. Of course. So you're from the Upper Plains? I come from the slopes of Celestia. My heritage is evidenced in my wings and my eyes. Your eyes are unusual. I noticed that. Your eyes are like mirrors, which makes them doubly pleasing to me. It allows me to admire my reflection without need for a looking glass. I see. I hope you can, with eyes like that. I'm a lot to take in at once, so feel free to study me at length if you must. I am used to such attention. You might need to step back to look again. His ego alone can fill a castle. Such fire to your words. They burn me. Quick, get the priestess to fan me with her wings. Are you making light of me? I would never do such a thing. Although with eyes like yours, do you know what light is? You are strange. There is much about your heritage that evidences in your behavior. About Gan? I am curious what this ebony-eyed creature of the slopes of Celestia sees in a humble hag spawn such as I. Pray, priestess, continue. Very well. I see that your feet find the patterns of dirt and sand beneath them uncomfortable. As if you are used to stepping in dreams, not earth. You toss about words like a wind around you, in the hopes that their speed and flurry will deflect questions and prevent you from being seen for what you are. You are hurt, Ganyev of dreams, and that pain drives you to hurt others, for you have been taught that that is the wheel that turns the world. You saw that from looking at him? Ah, uh, I think your faith has led you astray, and your eyes may not see as deeply as I may have thought. A shame, but no doubt my colors would blind you. Spectra of color are something I know only from text, not from experience. My eyes do not perceive color as you do. There is only black, white, and little else. It is another mark of my heritage, and I do not find it a hindrance. So you are blind to colors? My grandfather once said it was something my belief had chosen, not my blood. I would not call it blindness, but I see the world differently, yes. My eyes can perceive the spectrum of planes at times, even if the array of colors is lost on them. I have walked in the shadow plane before, yes? Your journey marked you, and I sense an absence within you as if your heart was removed. Its pain has faded to be replaced with something new, an affliction seeping into the open wound. Whatever affliction I sense within you that has filled the wound, it feels larger than the wound itself. As if the wound is merely a door. I do not know if Ilmater's blessings will aid you, but the fact you bear such pain is a testament to your strength of will. 
More questions? Of course. You are a follower of the god Ilmater, correct? That is correct. I am a sister of the Ilmatari, follower of Ilmater, the suffering god. We bring comfort to those in pain, and take the painful burdens of others unto ourselves. What brought you to the faith? Many faiths seek to help those who suffer, but it is my feeling that only Ilmater approaches it justly. In Ilmater's teachings I find there is truth. Through his priests and his blessings we seek to help all who hurt. There is a freedom in such all-encompassing sacrifice, I find. Speak as one who has been treated unjustly and without freedom as well. It is difficult to express, and I am not certain I have the words. Suffice to say that I found the call of Ilmater's teaching stronger. All right, we'll lose influence if we say this. More questions? Of course. Tell me a little about yourself. My history is in the past, where it belongs. Let us look to the future, and what we may accomplish. I am sorry, but my past efforts have shamed me and they are difficult to speak of. Forgive me, I meant no disrespect to your privacy. No, it is I who must ask your forgiveness. Perhaps as we travel more together, I shall find the words and the will to speak them. More questions? Of course. I met your brother and sister, Ephraim and Souza. Ah, Ephraim and Souza. I felt they might search for me. I hope they are not too worried about my absence. If you met them, they must have left the House of the Triad in search of me. I hope they will not be punished. Punished? Yes. The Menagerie was forbidden to take up weapons again, at my grandfather's command. His throne is high on the slopes of Celestia, and his word carries much weight. Why were you punished? Our philosophy veered from the traditional teachings of the Divas and Angels, and so our paths were forced to part. That doesn't sound like the whole story. It is not, but it is a complicated issue, and I fear that sharing it will do more harm than good. More questions? Of course. When we met, you mentioned the House of the Triad. What is that? The House of the Triad is not a temple, nor is it a place upon the Prime Material Plane. It is the name bestowed to the three great mountains circling Mount Celestia on the Outer Plains. The realms of Torm, Tyr, and Ilmater lie upon the crest of each mountain, and the Triumvirate forms the House of the Triad. It is a place of great beauty, where the orchestrations of divas are carried on the wind and sun. But it is sealed to me, and never again shall I know its comfort. But as a priest of Ilmater, can't you go to his realm? The House of the Triad is closed to me, as is all of Celestia, even Ilmater's realm with its temple that embraces the sky. No creature there can feel pain, fatigue, or even exhaustion. One is renewed within its walls. There are times I miss it, I confess. Even Ilmater's disciples need a place to center themselves. To comfort the suffering is at the heart of Ilmater's beliefs, and it extends to his disciples as well. I thank you for your sympathy. To show compassion for others brings one closer to my God, and those we seek to heal. More questions? Of course. Could you tell me about Shadow Molsets here? We might have already asked all of these. It is a shadow of the city you have left behind, but as you may have perceived when you arrived, it is not an exact imitation. There are distortions of architecture, and sometimes a different flow of streets or paths. It is enough to recognize what shadow Mulsantir is supposed to represent, but not what it is. I hope that served to dispel your confusion rather than compound it. To describe shadow is an elusive thing. Alright, I think we've already asked everything. Of course. Yeah, okay, let's move on. So here... Ephraim and Susan, now we can... I can taste the magic of the Vero spirits in the air. And they are stronger, more hostile than before. Okay. Does anybody else have anything to say? Here you seek allies to fight the bear god. They'll have better luck in the prison, honorable men. 
will not do battle with gods. Kaylin, little sister, it's good to see you on the Prime again. You need to stop flying from us. Was your search successful? I have made progress, yes. What has happened in my absence? The city feels different, more turbulent. A ghostly beast is at the gates. A bear god, awakened from his slumber, for his slumber and bellowing worse than Susan when she can't get her way. And worse than Ephraim when I best him in duels with one hand tied behind my back and hopping on one foot. It's good to see you, my siblings. I have missed you. But how did you come to be here? I had thought that we would not let our eldest sister, leader of our humble menagerie, go into exile alone. Who would feed us, change our cages, sing to us? Nay, to abandon you, I would sooner let the antlers fall from my helm like leaves. Although the, remover of your, the removal of your antlers would make it easier on door frames, my brother. Many still bear wounds from your entrance. I am pleased to see that the gravity of events has not diminished your charming rivalry. I have brought your sister Kaylin to you as promised. Indeed, we, we will keep our promise and help you. Promise? What promise? In exchange for finding you, we promise to help battle the spirit army beyond, beyond the gates. It was not my intention to endanger you, my siblings. Ah, sister, we can take care of ourselves. We are not unaccustomed to battle or to great odds against us. Remember the menagerie. Please, release them from their promise to aid you. I will help you, and that is enough. All right, I will release them from their promise. And we gain some influence. I thank you. I do not wish them placed in harm's way for my sake. We're getting 2,000 XP for that, too. Kaylin, please come home with us to Celestia. I know Grandfather will, will reconsider your exile if you just make penance to kill him for. The Menagerie misses you, sister. We need you. Calimvor is a just god. Trust in him to resolve your inner conflict. There are wrongs that remain unrighted by Calimvor. The truths I seek are sacrilege to his doctrine. Let us journey with you. No god's faith could be greater than my faith in you, Kaelin. Let the menagerie go where you would lead us. Susa, no, you speak sacrilege against Kelimvor. If you do not recite Grandfather's words, look into your own heart. You would not have come with me to find Kaelin if you did not feel as I do. Susa speaks truly. I would follow you to any end, Kaelin even to the end of faith, if you would but lead the menagerie once again. My path now lies with Janik, and I cannot take you on this journey with me. I know I have led you before into battle, but this journey is different. My journey concerns itself with the fate of souls and the injustice of all gods, not just Kelimor. It is a path that may lead to not just the death of my body, but the destruction of my soul. I cannot, will not risk sharing that fate with my siblings. Please return home, and may the menageries, may the menagerie live on, even in my absence. But Kaylin, no, Ephraim. Behold the conviction in our sister's eyes. We cannot sway her from this. Janik, I insist you take my helm and use it to keep our sister Kaylin safe. Do not fail her, or I will return to take back the helm and your life with it. Caitlin follows me at her own risk. I'm not responsible if she dies. If you cannot wear the helm, then sell it and purchase something more suitable. I can fashion another helm for myself, but my sister, she is irreplaceable. I I will miss you, Caitlin. I will pray for you. Farewell, my siblings. I will always carry hope that we will be together again. So let's check out this antler rack that we got. It gives you plus four to deflection bonus, plus four to con, freedom of movement, resistance, ten to divine magic, and weighs half of what something of this size normally would. This helm is the trademark of Ephraim the Stag, the half-celestial warrior who was one of the menagerie, a group of siblings once led by Caelan the Dove. Though it looks to be rather heavy and unwieldy, 
The helm actually feels rather light. How about you wear it? Yes. You're not wearing anything. So you don't need a ring of protection plus three or more, do you? Alright. We give you another level four spell. Let's give you... Yeah, there's not really good level 4 spells, are there? Hypothermia. Whatever. Okay, so we're running up on time. I do want to yes. go back to Shadow Molson here. This time, through the veil. There are my siblings, Susa and Ephraim. Yeah, we just talked to them. Anyways. I'd like to go through here, see if we can open the door to the other side. And then I want to go down here to the sloop and open up a portal through there. So what will we find on the docks at Shadow Molson here? Find out next time. This is Big Low signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And Tango India.